Hey, everyone's big dog here. Also, in that uh, four table lot that I got, I got a lot of NASCAR stuff, which I've sold a lot of NASCAR stuff off already. Uh, but let's just get into some of this. Whoever was, had this was a Dale Earnhardt fan. There are other drivers in here, but mainly Dale Earnhardt. But uh, cool pieces. It's like a heavy glass ceramic piece. At the altar of speed, the fast life and tragic death. Uh, cassette tape, I think. Audio, yeah. Four decks of cards. Center state battery, Santa Claus. Good piece. Got the snowman. Earnhardt. Nothing broken. Snow glue is pretty nice. Uh, put the lead disc guy down, I guess. These are like uh, Christmas tree ornaments. There's more Martins. The wall, the Kansas M and M. All these little figures here are Dale Earnhardt. Looks like it's picked through. Junior and Earnhardt Senior. So they're kind of cool. Got these ones. Senior again. Now this plaque is pretty nice. It's actually Daytona Speedway. Uh, to lay out of it, it is missing like these are all lights and stuff that go around it. These silver pieces. Some of them are missing the tops. So I think it's missing like a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, like six of them. But other than that, it's a pretty nice piece. Uh, Daytona International Speedway, Daytona Beach. It's pretty neat. A couple tags are in there. Live the race. Daytona. And then. Monster Mile Dover. I've been to the Dover track. It's a cool piece right here from the movie Days of Thunder. The metal yellow car. Or it's the city Chevy, actually. This is the first one. That he was driving in there. Cold trickle. This is pretty neat. Little major red magic cars. And then Dollar Lands. Track and trailer, which I just had a bunch of these track and trailer. I sold them for four dollars a piece up there at Columbus. So, the NASCAR Pez dispenser, forty-three Richard Petty. Now this tenth pretty neat. And what's in here? Kind of cool. Set of glasses. I just have I'm gonna keep these or not. I always need a new pair of shades when I run a motorcycle, but these are pretty cool. Comes with a letter of authenticity. Uh, it's a real neat piece. So let's go over here. I've sold about two of these already figures. I sold one of the beanie babies. Uh, sold one of these little figures like this. It's got Jeff Gordon. Never liked him, but I got to give it to him. He's a good driver. This was the man. His son. They're starting line up seasons. These are Mc. I want to say they're. But they're not McFarland, are they? No. No, but Junior. His Oreo car. Number eight car. So you want a trophy, I think. It's neat. You can actually set up their stages so it gives them really neat. 
for the amp car. Mountain Dew amp. And these Beanie Babies. Turnhart Jr. Dale Sr. Dale Jr. Dale Sr. I like this one. Kevin Harvick in it. Oh, I've been out of racing for a while. Uh, another day on her. It's pretty cool. So they all came in that four table lot. Some of this stuff did too. Some like two piece, one piece didn't, but I'll go over that in a second. So. Start with this guy, Phillies Warriors Series Champion 2008. Stuffed animals, kind of cool. This is uh, number 14, Pete Rose. He was at the Expos. Uh, it's a glass, pretty nice. These headliners. Steve Young. I got more headliners, but they don't sell, so put them in a lot and get rid of them. Jerry Rice. Now, this here I thought was cool. This is the Brooklyn Dodgers, 1955 World Champions, the Boys of Summer. Now, I had a guy that does baseball cards up at Columbus Flea Market. His name is Ronnie. Some people may know him, some people may not. Uh, if you're ever in Columbus up there looking to buy cards, he's usually got a baseball card set up. He does really good up there every week. He's a good dude. Uh, this is the Dream Team collectible. St. Louis. Now, he said that some of these cards are probably legit, like 70s or older cards. I really don't know. Uh... I know nothing about baseball. So boom slang if you're watching. But this year, game one, game two, game three, all the way up to seven. So, gives you all the stats and all the things, so it's kinda cool. And we're going to jump back and forth between baseball and football and stuff. But these are football photo albums. Got a Redskins one. Got a Giants one. They are empty inside. So they're ready to be pictures put in. It's KC and Chiefs. Uh, so the homes. And I got this. Sorry about the light, guys. Coming around this side, I guess it's better. Classic baseball cards. Now, like I said, I don't know much about it. They probably might be reprints, but then again, I don't know. But this is definitely a cool book. And uh, it looks like I had one or a couple. You now it's just starting to come apart. But uh, very, very cool book. So 98 collector's cards. Will So, Lou Gehring, Ernie Lombardi. So that's kind of neat. And like I said, it, this all came in a lot. Uh, there's one thing that didn't, I'll get to that in a minute. This was also in that same four table lot. This is a Mickey Mantle, the story of Mickey Mantle. Now, this is kind of neat because it has all kinds of nothing but cards in there, Mickey Mantle. So, I don't know nothing about these. I couldn't tell if they're repops or not. Couldn't tell you price on them. If anybody knows what the value of this book might be, please let me know. Uh, boom slang again. But, uh, it's all Mickey Mantle in here. 
So it's like a whole complete card set. Noel Ryan's in the very back. Noel Ryan again. So mainly Mickey Mantle. A lot of Noel Ryan. There's some Bill Jackson in here. A lot of Noel Ryan. Can you just... Bill Jackson. Big picture, Mickey Mantle. Also, a while back, I had bought a, a box of toys from an auction. And when I got at the bottom of the toys, this, this bag was sitting at the bottom of there. And all these uh, baseball postcards were in here. I don't know all their names. That's John Colossen from Phillies. Uh... Just, I don't even know. They're all signed. Kofax. McGeary. What are some of these other names? I can read better from the paper. J.D. McCarthy. And, uh, Tito Fan Owner. Joe Adok. James Frigos. Lily McAvoy. Harvey, but well, I better not get them wet. I'm sweating to death. A lot of these are signed. If they're not signed on the front, they're signed on the back. Uh, some look like they could be legit signatures. Some look to be possibility of print. Uh, I really don't know nothing about them. I've had my boy Ronnie look at them. He said some of them are pretty good. Some ain't worth nothing. But whoever had these took the time and priced up each card, and they range anywhere from ten dollars to two hundred. So I don't know what's what and what's who's who and who's playing first or third. I couldn't tell you. But uh, I just wanted to put these out there for the baseball people. That's on my on my page. So again, any information greatly appreciated. This is Big Dog. Rate, subscribe, hit that like button. To the next one, Big Dog's out.